Why stay Earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier, owned and operated by corporations. A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes, thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. What is going on, guys? It's Waffle here, and welcome to the Outer Worlds. Man, you guys, I, I have been waiting quite a while for this game to come out, and well, we're finally here. So if you guys liked my Fallout 4 series, my Skyrim series, you guys like those types of games, well, you're probably going to like this. And this game has been getting some pretty fantastic reviews as well, so I'm definitely looking forward to jumping right in. And it looks like we're starting off with a character creation screen, so... Looks like we have a bunch of attributes we can give to our character here. We have body, strength and dexterity, mind, intelligence and perception, and personality, charm and temperament. So we have six points we could spend here, and there's six different attributes. So we could technically just do a plus one on everything here, but uh, that'd be kind of boring, <laughs> honestly. Uh, I think we might be able to, uh, yeah, we could even... I'll have to use smaller words around you. <laughs> Yeah, we can even uh, lower our stuff. Yeah, we can only lower it one point, but... Uh, Charismatic enough to give the chairman a run for his bits. Okay, yeah, look at that. So we can, we can do a very high with three points added, or negative one point, and have a below average. So that's interesting. So let's just go back to average on everything. You won't be quite so boring after you've saved the entire colony. <laughs> anyway, strength up here. Strength affects melee, weapon damage, and the mount you can carry. So that's going to be interesting if I decide to do a lot of melee. And of course, <laughs> you guys already know I love loot and stuff, so I'm probably going to need that extra carry weight. Dexterity? That might be pretty interesting. Dexterity affects melee attack speed and ranged weapon reload speed. So that's interesting. I feel like I'm going to be doing at least one point on there. Maybe I'll just apply that already, so we're going to have a good on that dexterity. Don't know about strength, though. Yeah, we can see we have 0% melee damage buff right now, and I assume... So we get a 10% buff per perk, or a point that we do to that, so... And 80 pounds up to 100 pounds, or 80 kilograms up to 80 kilograms, so... A eh, decent amount of, uh... I don't know, I'm going, I'm going to put that back down to average at least for right now, and I'm going to read these other attributes real quick. Intelligence affects critical hit bonus damage, so if we do one there, it does a plus 10% bonus right there. Perception affects headshot and weak spot damage bonuses, so if I'm really MLG and I can headshot people, then hey, we can do even more damage. 10% bonus damage to headshots and weak spots. That might be pretty good, and of course it, it also affects other skills, handguns, long guns, heavy weapons, dodge, lockpicking, engineering, so that's interesting. Uh, intelligence affects long guns, persuade, hack, medical science, determination. Dexterity affects one-handed melee, handguns, dodge, block, sneak, and lockpick. And strength is one-handed, two-handed melee, heavy weapons, block, inspiration, and intimidate. I think I'm still going, I'm, I'm probably going to keep strength at average. Perception, did I keep that? Oh yeah, I think that did that just to see how much that went up. Uh, maybe I'll, maybe I will do one on, uh, there you go, let's do one on perception there. So now we have four points remaining. We still have charm and temperament to read about real quick. Charm affects faction reputation and companion ability cooldowns. 
effects persuade lie intimidate hack science inspiration and uh is that 10 percent on yep 10 percent on all those companion ability refresh positive faction reputation reactions and negative faction reputation reactions hmm i don't know if i'll have any charm and what if i get rid of that is there something uh you won't be quite so boring after you've saved the entire colony <laughs> if i'm not very charming i'll have a uh, penalty reputation gains are significantly reduced significantly yeah look at that negative 20 percent negative 35 negative 15 sheesh and that's all just to get one extra point back so i think i might at least at least keep that on average i'm not really thinking about doing a charm at least right now maybe i will if i have an extra point or two uh, anyway speaking of points we still have four points left and temperament's the last one we're going to read about temperament improves your natural health regeneration affects two-handed melee lie sneak medical indetermination so two health regeneration per second goes up to 3.55 7.5 it's as if you're psychologically incapable of feeling anxiety <laughs> and if we uh oh man no passive health regeneration so i guess you just have to you know take consumables to regain health you're not going to regen any at all so yeah definitely want to keep that at least at average i'd say i'm like everything is at least average is good i don't, I don't really see if we get rid of strength rather anemic but at least you'll fit in Ooh, geez yeah we lose 20 kilograms of carry capacity negative 10 percent melee penalty tactical time dilation drain for movement is doubled what i don't even know what that means i guess we'll find out later but yeah, I, I don't see any benefit to doing uh, below average on anything to get an extra point back, you know? So let's keep everything at least average and let's see what we're going to do as good or very good or whatever. So we already have one on dexterity there. Perception, have one there. Am I going to do an extra one there or what? I feel like maybe I'll do a charm just because I feel like I, I like memeing around with the dialogue and stuff. Not being too serious about it and seeing if we can get away with lying and stuff. Because as you can see, it affects persuading, lying, intimidating. So if we want to get our way... It'd be, uh, it'd be very good to be charming, so let's, let's definitely do a point on that. Maybe I'll do strength, because I, like I said earlier, I do love looting. <laughs> but at the same time, I don't want to do one on everything. I want to do maybe a dexterity? Maybe I'll do an extra one on that. That, sound, that sounds good, doing a high on dexterity and maybe one on strength. Temperament average. We'd get better health regens. But if I'm going to be looting so much, I'm probably not going to need that slight extra health regen, honestly, you guys. I'm probably going to just have a bunch of consumables I could take. So I'll probably keep temperament at average. Intelligence, am I going to make that go up? Long guns, persuade hack. Maybe I will. It'll make a plus 10% critical damage. I Yeah, look at that. That seems pretty good. So I am kind of doing a plus one on everything, except for, of course, temperament. And then doing an extra one on dexterity. I feel like this is going to be fine. All right, well, let's move on to the next one. Skills. So we have two points. Ooh, man. We have two points to do here. And we can do a two. What I wouldn't pay to see you challenge the chairman to fisticuffs. Hmm. So we do a skill point on melee, range, defense, dialogue, stealth, tech, leadership. What? Okay, well, melee is kind of self-explanatory. Melee skills improve critical hit chance with handheld weapons. Range skills improve your weapon sway and critical hit chance with ranged weapons. I feel like we're not going to really need that when we already have a plus one to that attribute, so might not want to do range. Defense, maybe. Let's see. Defense skills improves your ability to avoid damage, so that'd be pretty good, especially early on when we don't have, you know, good armor and all that stuff, right? Dialogue improves your ability to talk with NPCs. We already did one on that, right, with charm. How much does this make it go up, though? We have 12 on persuade, 9 on lie, and 12 on intimidate. You could probably talk your way out of a landing ticket. Man, yeah, that makes it go up by 10 points apiece. That's really good. Stealth. Ooh, I'm liking the sound of that. Maybe I could do stealth. Stealth. Oh, wait, gosh, I didn't mean to do one on melee. <laughs> stealth skills improves your ability to get through and around security. I do like that. I did play as a Khajiit in my Skyrim uh, remastered. You certainly know your way around a Mac pick. Of course, about halfway through that series, I, I kind of changed things up and, and started doing a bunch of other things other than, you know, sneaking in one-handed melee and all that kind of stuff, right? Just to kind of dibble-dabble in all the other aspects of the game. I'll probably be doing the same thing here. I'm, not, I'm probably not going to be sticking to one play style. I'll probably mix things up here and there, you know, just keep things interesting. Uh, but I, I think I'm going to do one for stealth. I do like stealth stuff. Tech skills improves your knowledge of bodies, tools, and the universe. Ooh. You wrote that paper on breeding a sissy pig with 30% more tumors. Hmm. What about leadership? What is that? Leadership skills improve your companion health and their abilities in combat. Ooh. So I can have a companion here just like in the other games. Of course, that'd be pretty cool. I wonder if we're going to have one that's going to be on par with Codsworth, Casual Codsworth, or Savage Serana. <laughs> I wonder if we're going to get a really cool companion here. 
So definitely doing one on stealth. I don't know if I'm going to be doing stealth, what, what would be a good skill to go along with stealth? Maybe melee. Just because if I'm going to be doing sneaky stealth stuff, I'm probably going to want to do some melee to take out targets very quietly, you know? So that might be something I'd... And of course, it'd probably be pretty good uh, early on, depending on if we get a gun early on or not. Might want to stick to melee. Now, what what is low? Mmm, tech seems low. It has two nines there. The other ones just have one nine and a bunch of double digits there. Maybe I'll do tech. Just kind of get it up a bit, you know? Improves your knowledge of bodies, tools, and the universe. Each point in tech significantly increases medical, engineering, and science skills up to 50 points each. After 50, you could specialize by adding points directly to medical, engineering, or science. Ooh, okay. That's cool. And of course, it's plus 10 points. Yeah, plus 10 points. Your skills would have been wasted in a corporate lab. But then again, dialogue. That's, that's always good for talking with NPCs and, and lying and getting away with things and convincing them of things, you know. Maybe it'd be good for dialogue, too. I'm like, it'd be good for anything, honestly. Maybe maybe I'll... Yeah, let's, let's do stealth and dialogue. Someone with a talent for exploiting insecurities. Oh, interesting. Hold on. I didn't even notice they had this extra stuff here. So, base skill unlocks. So, we already hit 20 here, because just right off the bat, we're at 23 sneak. And we get a sneak attack. Attack unaware enemies while crouched to deal bonus damage. That's good, so we could do extra sneaky damage there. Noise. Same thing on hack. We hit novice on that. Unlock the ability to sell goods to vending machines. Okay, so that might be a good way to alleviate extra trash I have in my inventory. Uh, and get a little bit of money out of it, too. And novice on lockpicking. Doors and containers requiring one mag pick to unlock are free to open. Ooh, okay. And there are a bunch of other stuff down there as well as we continue to level up. But this is just kind of the baseline, what we're working with right off the bat. Uh, dialogue. Let's see what we get for getting points there. Novice Persuade says humans have a 20% chance to cower in fear for three seconds after the first time you hit them. Ooh, interesting. Lie. That's just one point away from hitting the novice there. It's at 19. But once we hit novice, scramble. 15% chance auto mechanicals will slowly attack other enemies instead of you for 10 seconds. That actually sounds really good. 10 seconds, that's a long time. And it's a 15% chance, so... Well, that's a pretty good little perk there. And Intimidate. We unlock that at Novice. Terrify. 20% chance creatures will become terrified and flee for 10 seconds after you kill one. Okay. That could be pretty interesting. I wonder if we can get one as a pet. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. Alright, let's move on to the next one. Aptitude. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff here. Select the career aptitude that your character possesses. Each aptitude corresponds to a small bonus. Okay. No discernible aptitude. Uh, okay, I don't know why I'd want to do that. <laughs> but it gives me a plus one to determination. Hmm. You know, going through these and looking at their aptitude bonuses, I think I might do Scientist Assistant, level zero, class A. I may do this just because we haven't done anything for like tech or science or anything like that, so this will give us a plus one to science. So I think this may make up for our lack of any tech or science earlier on, right? But uh, Scientist Assistant Level 0, Class A. You've cleaned out enough test tubes to develop a keen instinct for what goes in them, and why. Maybe you didn't get in this business to mop up the leavings of failed experiments, but that's just part of the job. Even if you can't unsee what happens in the lab, you can at least learn from the mistakes and enjoy some colorful nightmares. Okay. This sounds pretty interesting. It's like kind of a little bit of a meme career here, you know? We're doing some experiments and stuff like that, so I guess we're a scientist assistant. Class A? Oh, right. Test subject. <laughs> I'm a test subject. <laughs> so that's going to be interesting. All right, well, let's move on to the next one, appearance. So we're going to be selecting gender, female, or male. What should we going to do? Of course, I'm going to have to do male, huh? All right. <laughs> Next up, face. Let's see, uh, let's do a nice face reveal for this guy. Should I do a meme, or should I, like, try and, uh, make him look decent? <laughs> I don't know if I should make him, like, ter look terrible on purpose, because I think this is, I think this is first person, like, I don't think there's any third person, right? I don't even think you'd show yourself in cutscenes, as far as I know. So it might not really even matter if I make this guy look good or, like, a meme or what. Maybe, maybe I'll just make him look, like, average or something like that, nothing special, you know? And he'll probably, like, have a space helmet on anyways, or a mask, or something, you know? So... I don't think it really matters. And like I said, I'm probably going to be under like a helmet or something like that. So maybe I'll pick like a some some sort of medium skin or something like that. So maybe something like that. That should be fine. Eye color. And that's kind of like a red. It's weird red there. Kind of like a blue. There's orange. What in the world? Looks demonic. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Man. I wonder if I could actually have like black eyes. Looking like the devil or something. Green eyes. Uh, pink eyes. What in the world? The blue. Oh man. Those are really weird looking blue eyes. Like... Really vibrant, really vibrant green, really vibrant. Oh my gosh. Uh, I don't know what, maybe I'll do these like weird, like flaming orange eyes. That looks crazy. <laughs> Brow horizontal. Yeah, I don't really care too much about like little, little things like this. 
Like, I, I'll probably just keep it in the middle, honestly. Like, I, I don't actually care there. Let's see what kind of crazy, wacky hairstyles we work with here. Hmm, if I'm a scientist, I should probably have a very, uh, normal haircut. Nothing, nothing too crazy, nothing... Oh, gosh, <laughs> don't want that. Don't want to have a man bun. What's that? That's kind of like a... That's kind of normal looking. Kind of like a... You'd, you'd see a lab assistant with that kind of hairdo, right? I'd feel so. All right, well, hair color. Oh, gosh, we could have, like... Actual color hair, not like brown and, and uh, black and other stuff like that. What in the world could I do here? Oh, whoa, what in the world is this? That looks like multicolored there. That's interesting. That is crazy. I think I'm going to keep that. That's interesting. Now, eyebrow style. Yeah, once again, I don't really care too much about these little intricate details here, honestly. So I'll probably... Oh, <laughs> there's a heckin' unibrow there. There's another. There's like two unibrows. Probably like, yeah, third right there. Oh, I can have no eyebrows. <laughs> In the future, people don't have eyebrows. Should I just have no eyebrows? I, mean, I actually look like inhuman. <laughs> I look like an alien with those eyes and no eyebrows. <laughs> Should I do it? I think I will. I think I will for the memes. You can't even, you can't like read me. The, me, I, I, could, I could persuade people a little easier when they can't read my eyebrows, right? Facial hair. Maybe I'll do this. With that, that mustache and a little bit of a beard. Kind of, kind of a little meme. Facial hair color. Now, what was that one? 28. So if I do 28 on that, is that going to be the same? Kinda looks like it. Yeah, you can see a little bit of purple and a little bit of gold in there. It's kind of weird, like, pearlescent looking. So I feel like that matches. <laughs> this guy looks crazy. Alright, features, makeup. What in the world can I be doing? Ma oh, God! <laughs> what is... Jeez! What is all this? Uh, make more sense of... Uh, what is that? Is that like... Oh, oh I wonder if you could have, like, war paint. Scar, age. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, I'm missing stuff here. Oh, that's like... No, that's like a fake scar there, because it's makeup. Oh, yeah, you can have, like, war paint and stuff. I don't know if I'll like it, though. Eh. Well, I'm, I'm sure you could do a uh, character creation stuff later in the game and customize it from there if I really cared that much. I don't think I'm going to do any dirt. Scars. Might be pretty interesting to have a scar or two here or there and have a, have a story to tell about it. And there's the classic scar through the eye thing. And there's, like, half the, half the face burnt through scar there. Maybe I'll do the classic scar through the eye thing. I think I might have done that in my Fallout 4. I can't remember. Uh, there's like a scratch there on that cheek. Maybe we'll do that one. I feel like I did the scar through the eye in Fallout 4, so I might not want to repeat that, right? Age. Oh, God. Even the ears get all disgusting there. Ugh. I don't know what I should do. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll be a young fella. There you go. All right. Customize your character. Don't be shy. All right. Well, that's going to be our guy for right now. What's your name? Uh... Uh, is this a first name or a nickname or or what? I'm kind of, I, I don't know if I'm going to be doing a Danny DeVito meme again. <laughs> Maybe I'll keep that for Ark and uh, do something different for this. Okay, I've got a dumb name, uh, but I have to look up how to spell it because I've never even typed this word in my life. So I need to make sure I spell it correctly. Let's see here. B-R-A-G-G-I-N-G? Oh yeah, you could do a, uh, it doesn't have to be all caps, but bragging, there you go. I'm not bragging, but I literally am bragging now, right? <laughs> so I guess I'll accept that. So that's going to be our name. Our name is bragging. Now now my dumb I'm not bragging meme doesn't really make too much sense because now I'm, I, I actually am bragging. <laughs> uh, anyways, let's move on. So my guy's literally named bragging. My attributes are plus one to strength, plus two to dexterity, plus one to intelligence, plus one to perception, plus one to charm, and average temperament. There are all of our skills there with all those heckin' numbers all over the place. Our highest skill is lockpicking. Ooh, interesting. I didn't think it was that. Thought it would have been something else like sneaking. Although this would be under a sneaking class. Yeah, it's, there's sneak right there, so yeah. Now what about science and stuff? Did that go up because of the, uh, yep, that went up because of the scientist assistant to our aptitude there, so that's good. And of course our aptitude, like I said, scientist assistant, level zero, class A, plus one to science. So there we go. Let's actually look at that. So once we hit 20, we're going to get Tinker, improve your weapons and armor in the workbench. So we're going to be able to improve our armor and stuff. That's going to be pretty cool. We're going to be able to customize them a little bit. But uh, I think that's going to be it for the character customization. If you guys skipped ahead, then hey, welcome back. Let's get back into the game. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Looks like that guy's rescuing us from the pod. The cryopod. Not likely, bootlickers. Ugh. Initiate skip jump. Status. Structural. 
Total integrity down 25%. Power levels down 25%. Skip <sighs> drive. Shit. Oh, he took us out of the park. Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Whoops. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, <laughs> not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Uh, are we... Oh! Yeah, just like earlier. Making buttons don't work properly. Alright, it looks like we're going down. We're going to land on some sort of planet. And it sounds like there's already someone down there waiting for us. Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. Not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one-of-a-kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm... Uh, all the colonists are counting on you. Alright, let's head down and rendezvous with this smuggler. Did we crash? I don't think we landed properly. <laughs> and letting his ship go to waste. Whoops. <laughs> Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Whoops. Yeah. Can I get an F in the chat for Hawthorne there? Space to jump over obstacles. Oh, jeez. Look at these aliens. These little critters. Hey there, little fella. I don't know if we had that stat that uh, makes these guys kind of skittish around us or what, but uh, left control to go under. Oh gosh, there you go. Oh, go underneath obstacles, noise. And it seems like we have some sort of. Oh, yep. Next thing, path to ship. There's some sort of critter there. I don't think I can interact with it though. I wonder if you could actually have these guys as pets though. Just like I said earlier, it'd be pretty cool if we could have pets. Yep, left shift. This left shift to sprint. There's another guy up here. It looks like. What's this? Oh gosh, this guy doesn't have any legs. Adreno. Ooh, alright, don't mind if I take that. Okay, so that's going to be our looting system there, so that's going to be pretty cool. And I don't think there's anything else to loot. I'm like, he <laughs> doesn't even have any egg and legs. So, what's this down here? While sneaking, use tall grass, rocks, or other cover to hide from enemies. Use oh, here we go. Yeah, look at this. We're in cover right now. Noise. And it looks like there are some enemies up there. Timid Canid. That's supposed to be some sort of dog-like creature? Oh, gosh. Well, it seems like it. Some weird... Oh, God. The awareness meters over enemies' heads tell you if they're unaware, suspicious, investigating, or alerted, so... Seems like one of them... ...is like halfway. No, it's going down there, you can see that. It's almost gone there, on that guy's little awareness meter. And it's gone! Okay, so that's going to be interesting. 
It's going to be telling us... Oh, what is this? Some sort of light. It's going to be telling us if we're detected or not. So that's awesome. Let's go down. Am I still sneaking? Yeah, I'm still sneaking. Alright, let's get out of that. What's this? Some sort of mine? What is happening? You see now, you've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Uh, okay. <laughs> Some weird, like, glitchy stuff happening there. What is this down here? Oh, I'm gonna... Am I gonna survive this jump? Ah! Nope. <laughs> oh, it probably told me to do something and I didn't even pay attention. I was too busy looking at the little craters. Can I, uh... Probably could have climbed down from that, honestly. <laughs> Didn't know if it was going to be like, oh yeah, your, your suit you're wearing uh, gets rid of all fall damage. What is this guy doing here? This guy friendly? Oh, I... Hey, you. Come here. I guess so. You've tried the best now. <laughs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, law, that stings. <laughs> what? <laughs> Medical. Sit still, I'll patch you up. What happened to you, Spacer's what? Uh, yeah, what happened to him? What's, what's wrong with this guy? We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my sight. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. So can I still- oh yeah, I guess I'll patch him up now. Yeah, I was about to say, I wonder if I can still patch him up. Let's do it. We got medical five. Huh. <sighs> Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Sure, why not? What's this about the Marauders? What were you doing out there? You're hiding in a cave and you blocked off the exit. You're as good as dead. Yeah, what about these Marauders? Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics. With guns. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract Marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Hmm. Some explosive, it sounds like, huh? Persuade, I've got a better idea. Give me your gun and I'll get help. Uh, lie. Someone grounded their ship illegally. I'll hunt them down for you. Intimidate. You're an idiot. Give me your gun before you get yourself killed. Hmm. So we're going to be getting his gun no matter what, it seems. Except for this middle one, I suppose. Oh yeah, he's going to give me your gun. I'll hunt him down for you now. Let's see. So we'll, we'll either persuade, lie, or intimidate. Which one do we want to do? I guess we could test how good we are at uh, lying. Let's do lie. See how we, uh, see if we'll be able to convince him. You'd better take my gun then. Uh, careful. It's worth more to the company than I am. <laughs> Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed at that time. Oh my god, this guy and his little taglines, he has to, he's forced to say, sheesh, can you tell me where I am? Do you know anything about hope? I'm off, leaves the conversation. Yeah, where am I? What is this place? You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a spacer's choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous Saltuna. Hmm, okay. Do you know anything about the hope? The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Auntie Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. Uh, okay, well I'm off then. I'm off to see the wizard in Emerald Vale. No, we're in Emerald Vale. What was that place? Edgewater? I guess, yeah. Seems like, yeah, there are explosives back here, so we have to hit this, so... ba boom Damage my ears! Ugh. Oh, what just happened? <laughs> What? Well, looks like we lost connection with uh, Phineas there, I guess because we're in a cave, you know? Is there anything here I could loot? Seems like we have uh, some loot here we could do. But he gave us a light gun here with 111 ammo, and now we're down uh, one, of course. Picking up some random tar tartars, tartarus sauce? Should I probably be looking at this? Mag pick, so I assume that's what we're going to be using the pick locks and safes and stuff like that. Pre-sliced bread with no A in there. <laughs> bread. Pick up fast ration pill. Just the mushroom thing there. Don't know what the other stuff was, though. I'm, my looting was kicking in. I was just looting right off the bat. I don't think I want to talk to this guy anymore. I wonder if I kill him. You know what? Thanks for the gun. Spacer's choice. Right? <laughs> Little tagline he's got. What is this? Can I hit that one and blow it up, too? I don't know. I know. I think we're good to go here now, you guys. He gave us two things, right? So if I hit F. Uh, oh, gosh. What is this? That's the wrong button. I hit tab there. 
Uh, yeah, that is your inventory tab. Oh gosh, look, that's us right there. I look fancy dancy, kind of. Yeah, you gave us a, a saber, sentry saber. Okay, so I can put that on number two and have a melee. 73 DPS compared to this gun, 100 DPS. So I have a uh, 102 light ammo, zero heavy ammo, and zero energy ammo. So that's interesting. So that's our inventory character. So this is just showing off our stats and stuff. Journal. What do we have here? Stranger in a strange land. Find Hawthorne's ship. Yeah, you get <laughs> the guy that we landed on when we came in, right? The smuggler took your meeting location a bit too literally. Guess that means his ship is yours now, if you could find it. All right, let's go find his ship. Uh, he was going to smuggle us, but he's heckin' dead now, so I guess we'll have to smuggle ourselves, right? I know his map. We'll see what this looks like. Ooh, kind of a simplified-looking cartoony map here. So I guess this is... Edgewater, the civilization that guy was talking about. And there's our destination right there, so let's go. Come on. Oh yeah, we have to duck under this. And a sprat. That's what that's called? Sprat? Ugh. Right, let's go. Come on, Vamanos. Everybody Oh gosh. What in the world's this? Hibernation complications detected. Tactical time dilation. Due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. Pressing the tactical time dilation button slows down the world, giving you time to think as well as take action. You have a limited time in this mode. Standing still drains your TTD meter very slowly, while moving in attacks drain it faster. The TTD meter refreshes slowly over time, so I assume just like in Fallout. This is going to be like, uh, like AP, like VATS or something like that, right? So what is T- I assume that's the purple on the top left, huh? Oh, I'm hearing a marauder. I want to get down. Seems like we have marauders in the area, you guys. Let's watch out. Oh, is that one? Marauder goon. I don't think I could headshot from this. Yeah, we hit right there. Didn't kill, though. So let's, let's test that. Oh, yep. That's definitely- Oh, God, that was a terrible hit right there. Yeah, that's definitely some sort of a uh, VAT system. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah, I ran out. Yeah, that is the purple meter at the top left, so... I assume reload is pretty, uh... Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Stuck behind this. I was about to reload, but I had to take cover first. Okay, let's do some body shots. Don't need to do a headshot every time. Is that... Nope, I don't think dead. Yeah, that's gotta be dead. Pretty sure. Seems like it. Now that little sprat can eat these guys, right? Uh, oh! Pretty good amount of light ammo there. Light pistol, a little bit of light ammo on that guy. Bit cartridge. Uh, I have one new item. View in the inventory. Corporation service award and a sentry saber. I wonder if there's like a... Uh, oh gosh, I, I guess I could have hit these things and uh, made them blow up. What is this thing? Oh, I could pick that. Should I try it? Try out the lockpicking mean? Boom, got it. Teleco telescoping staff. Another... Uh, oh, what in the world is that? Mock apple. Bunch of nanners. <laughs> Uh, these are like genetically mutated like fruit over here. Sheesh. Uh, fish sticks and more pre-sliced bread. So yeah, I guess if we had that one stat, what is that? That didn't let us regen uh, health. And yeah, we're going to rely like solely on uh, on these little uh, consumables over here. Don't want to hit this now that we're like there's no one there. Might as well reload now. That we're in a safe area. What's all this other stuff here? Zero G brew. More of this mag pick. Uh, tarmac and cheese. Is that it? Another, uh, is that a safe I could pick? No, I don't think so. Seems like some sort of, like, cooler or something like that. Let's open up our inventory again. We had another new item there, right? Now, what would it be? I think it showed it earlier. What's this? So, that was weapons. This is armor. Armor management. Let's see if we have any good armor. Uh, so we have our hibernation suit that has three armor. It's light armor. And... Weighs 2.5 kilograms. Conditions 97%. So, yeah. Seems like it's gonna wear out over time. We're gonna have to repair it, uh, whenever we take more damage, right? Consumables. Here are the consumables I was talking about that we'd probably have to rely on if we didn't have the re health regeneration stat. Here you can use junk or drop your consumables. It can be used directly to gain a variety of boosts. So yeah, just like any other game like this. Adreno, that's gonna increase health 25% for two seconds, last two seconds. What are these nanners? That's gonna be plus 200% natural health regeneration for two minutes. Sheesh. Seems like a really good one for uh, if I'm in a really sticky situation, you guys. Holy heck. Uh, mock apple and same thing there. So that's that's awesome. Uh, tarmac and cheese Tarmac and cheese same thing there and this one's zero it's some sort of alcohol here, so Plus one personality attribute and negative one dexterity perception charm last 30 seconds fish sticks plus 25 to base health and last two minutes not bad and of course these do have sell values too so like it like we saw earlier we could sell back to a vending machine and get a little bit of money out of this so that's good and what about this gourmet salt tuna fillets that, that's what that guy talked about earlier this is also a plus 25 to base health for two minutes and tartarus sauce same thing there 
What about pre-sliced bread? And that's the same as the nanners or the uh, the mock apple over here, so that's cool. Fast ration pill, same thing as the uh, the other stuff, the tuna and all that stuff. And what about this thing? Adreno healing heals 25% of health over two seconds. Yeah, we saw. Okay, yeah, we saw that earlier. And that's a hot key there for number one, I assume. Uh, speaking of number one, is that how we change weapons? Yep, that's how we change weapons there. So if we want to go melee, here we go. We're doing less DPS and we're going to be, of course, melee range. And of course, I can hide in the bushes and stuff and do a little bit of a sneak attack on folk. But uh, looks like we're already fully loaded. Don't need to worry about that right now. Is there anything over here I might have missed? Maybe. Let's just keep our eyes peeled. Probably gonna have more Marauder. Oh, oh, yep, we're right there. There's a Marauder right there. Let's get in the bushes. Get a pretty. Is that just one? Might be able to. Might be able to sneak up, you guys. Oh, there's a second one there in the background. Because we do have sneak. I do want to see if we do some sort of really cool, uh, especially with this new. Uh, oh yeah, what about that other thing? We got two things, didn't we? That like, the staff, tele telescoping staff, 54 DPS, two-handed melee. This is one-handed. Yeah, 36 damage. Bleed special effect compared to knockdown special effect. Ooh, interesting. I wonder if we could use these in conjunction with each other. Might want to try that out. So we can knock him down with a staff and then take him out with the uh, the saber. And of course, might want to just single one out if we're going to be doing that. And then, of course, I don't know if that uh, that time dilation thing is going to be helpful for this, but... Uh, oh, 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 there's someone right there. I don't know if we'll be able to be helpful with... Ah, you know what? Should we stick to our... Let's, let's do straight melee. Or should we uh, knock him down first? Oh, the detection on that guy kind of went up a little bit. Might want to watch out for that. Here we go. That guy's kind of turned around now. So we do a sneak attack on this guy for bonus damage. There we go. Knocked him down. Let's see if we can... No, he's already dead. Enemy killed, plus 50 XP. That's good. All right, we took that guy out in the bushes. And that was the low DPS weapon there. I assume it might be low DPS because you can only attack with it so fast. Slower than other weapons. So perhaps that's what's dragging down to DPS. But I do want to find this other guy. He's looking at the minimap. There are two more enemies. There's one there, one there. I don't know if I should just avoid these guys. Take them out. <gasps> I didn't loot the guy, did I? Oh, man. What's going on? What's, what's wrong with my lootometer? It wasn't beeping. It wasn't like beep, beep, beep. You didn't loot the guy. What happened? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Detected? Was I fully detected right there? Might have been. No, it's going down now. Oh, oh, oh. He sees the dead body. I smell blood. I smell blood, he says. Well, uh, where's the other guy at? He's down there still. Yeah, there's this icon there. That guy's detection of me is going down. It's at halfway right now. I don't want to go in the path just yet. I could take him out with a gun, but of course it's going to alert the other guy at my location. Might want to see if I can go to the... Oh, don't want to go out of the bush. He turned back around. Here we go, here we go, here. Oh, gosh. You see oh, God, he sees me. Let's get him with a gun. Oh, gosh. Let's get him with a gun. Point blank. Let's get him with a sword. Oh, there we go. Got him with a sword. All right. Nine. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. There we go. Sliced and diced. Noise. Eh, took a little bit of my health there. Man. Yeah, I, I got out of the shrubs there, so that sucks. But yeah, I, I should have come back here and got a little bit of ammo. Peace metal, or peace meal mining helmet. Ooh, a little bit of armor right there we could put on, I assume. So that's good. Uh, what about the other guy? The original guy didn't loot. Let's check in. Oh, gosh. I didn't see. Uh, skin tough salve. So... Hardened armor, plus 10 to armor rating. Ooh, last 15 seconds. That's pretty good. Yeah, I definitely want to look at these perks. I uh, definitely want to take these perks during a battle like that. Now, let's look at our inventory. Now, we are health regen right now, so we don't need to take anything. But, oh, what about this stuff? Uh, rebuilt mining gear. Ooh. Hibernation suit, three armor. Okay, so that piece metal uh, mining that we took from that guy, we could wear that for four armor. Hmm. Let's put that on. That's going to be our helmet, because right now we're not wearing a helmet. So there we go. We have that. And this... Oh, that has uh, better armor as well compared to the... So let's, let's switch those out. Oh, gosh, I look weird. <laughs> I look like a weird, uh... Like half minor, half like alien, or uh, like space... Fairer, I guess you could say. Anyways, that's pretty cool. A little bit of melee and uh, ranged attacks we just tried out right there. Seems like we're loading into a new area right now, though. Oh, gosh. Weird bro oh, gosh, look at this. There's like planets and stuff. Rings right there, or some sort of craft right there. Oh, okay, you could block with this too. Can you block with the uh, the staff too? Uh, yep, you could. Okay, that's good to know. That's good to know. Probably should have done that, but then again, they were using guns, so that wouldn't have helped, right? Hey, get over here before you get yourself killed. Okay. What if I could? Uh, oh gosh, that's the wrong button. How do I unequip? I don't know if I can. Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Gall on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official Spacer's Choice landing pad. 
I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. Ugh, parking violators, ugh! Disgusting! And those marauders are bad, too. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, it's just a loading violation, let it go. Now, nah, might as well go along with the meme. Because they're all, uh, freaking out about, like, the corporate, like, rules and stuff around here. So I heard, I found one of your teammates holed up in a cave. I guess I could say that, but it'd maybe get him in trouble. I've already dealt with a few of those marauders, not impressed. I'll do that one, let's do that one. You pulling my limb? I, I mean, yeah, of course. Marauders. Bunch of addle brain derelicts. I could round them up all by myself. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. Yeah, sure, you're not convincing me. Sheesh. <laughs> oh, it looks like we do a persuade, lie, intimidate on this one. So persuade, do Spacer's Choice Guards back down from a challenge? Lie, I bet you get these marauders to tell you where the owner of that ship is. Or intimidate. Guess I'll have to give you a zero on my customer satisfaction survey. <laughs> Don't worry, you sit tight, I'll handle it. Leave conversation. Coward, I'll do it myself. Sheesh. So either of those will leave the conversation. I guess we could try it. Now we tried lying early on. Now it's successful. Maybe we could try and persuade. Or intimidate. Maybe let's do the intimidate. That sounds like a good meme, giving you a zero on our survey. <laughs> Seriously? But those marauders will... Ugh. You know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. <laughs> yeah, let's go get them. Let's get these parking violators. Garbage. Trash. Oh, God. There's already a guy. Oh, there's like three of them down there. Oh, man. I should probably get like some sort of rifle or something. Let's try and run towards this guy. Get him in the body. Get him in the head. There we go. Got that guy down. And I'm going to reload. He's ducking down there. Is there a third? Nope. Oh, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> that guy got a fine bonus. Or is that me? I think it was one of the guys. Let's loot these guys. I got a, oh gosh, took a sword right there. Bit cartridge, yeah, this is this is a really easy way of looting here, you guys. Don't open up like a whole menu or anything like that, so that's awesome. Bit cartridge, light ammo, adreno, and light pistol, so. Uh, what about this stuff? What is this thing? Is just, can't, yeah, that's, that's one of the things we saw earlier. Ugh, nasty. Probably should have done some melee, that would have been really cool. Don't think I could have snuck up on them, though. A little bit too late for that. What do you have to say? This is gonna take a lot of paperwork. <laughs> Alright, I guess I have to get inside the ship then, uh... Let's see. So is this the ship that they were talking about? The, uh, the smuggler guy's ship? Uh, oh! Have to hold it. Yep. Hold that to go inside. Let's go. Boom. Already inside. You can fast travel to locations you have unlocked by opening your map and selecting your destination. Yeah, we saw that earlier in the map. But we could fast travel from here too? So I could fast travel to the landing site. So I guess just to certain locations. Not, like, to anywhere, right? So, yeah, I can't, like, right-click and be like, I want to tr travel, like, directly there. So I could fast travel to the landing site if I felt like it, which, I'm like, we're there right now, right? So don't really need to do that. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Welcome aboard Apex Transport. Triangulum Colony 2325. The unreliable. <laughs> There's a face reveal thing right here. Nice. Nice. Love that, right? Jeez. What is this stuff over here? Oh, there's something over here. Uh... What is this? Oh, look, look at this. I can loot this. Adreno. Please be informed that ignoring me is dangerous for your health. Uh, I'm not a marauder, so you're not talking to me, obviously, right? Sheesh. Now, how's this stuff work? Just pick that and then just boom? That's kind of interesting. I thought it would have been like a bobby pin from uh, Fallout or the Skyrim. Like, lock. we have to like spin it around, but I guess not, huh? So there we go. So now we have an uh, assault rifle. Light assault rifle there, so that's good. Like I said earlier, yeah, I probably wanted a rifle for that little fight there instead of our pistol, but we still took him out with the Intruders pistol. Intruders are not authorized to access the unreliable's amenities, including the cargo hold's workbench. Uh, well, too bad. Well, stop me if you, if you don't want me here, right? Pick up the weapon parts, 15, and a sawed-off shotgun, nice. Now, we just got a rifle. Definitely wanna, oh, whoops. Oh, god, I should've read that. It says something about item repair. Uh, whatever, it's probably self-explanatory. And now, do any of these have any different stats? 73, 73... 73, yeah, all the century sets, so we might be able to, like, uh, what, would, what do we call it? You break down, yeah, break down. We, we can break these things down for the parts, I assume, and be able to craft and modify, upgrade, and all that kind of stuff, just like anything else, right? So that'd be good. Definitely want to keep melee on us, so maybe pistol, we can keep at number one. Maybe I'll put the sword at number four, because that's a pretty good uh, melee there. But the shotgun on maybe three, and then light rifle on two. That's, go that's going to be what we're working with. So how are we doing? 100 DPS on the pistol. Light assault rifle, 180. And of course, uh, oh, what is the uh, fire rate and all that kind of stuff? Does it say? Uh, oh, do I even have ammo? Yeah, that's heavy ammo. And we don't have any of that. So that sucks. 
What about this? Yeah, shotgun is light ammo, right? Yeah, light ammo. So that sucks. We don't have anything for the uh, assault rifle, so we can't even use it. So that's good to know. That's good to know. We need to look out for that. Or even might be able to craft it. Because we just got some weapon parts right there, right? And here's a workbench. Hey, look at this. We found the workbench. The workbench allows you to repair, upgrade, and modify your weapons and armor, keeping you combat ready and in tip-top shape at all times. On each screen, first select the weapon or armor item that you want to work with, and then choose what you want to do with it. Repair it, break it down for parts, modify it with a mod, or tinker to upgrade it. Okay. Did I need to be a higher level on something to, uh, to use this? But I guess not. Anyways, modify. What can we do with, I don't know, the light pistol? I don't think I can do anything with it. Oh gosh, look at all this stuff here. Sheesh. Yeah, that's a ton of stats there. I don't know if I'll uh, get into ever reading that. Sheesh. Break down so we can repair. We, we can break down some of the extra trash here that I'm not going to be using, right? So I suppose I could break down the sword. There you go. Broke that down for three weapons parts. Break down the other swords. Break down the other. Uh, because I don't think there's any difference between these. There's like not a. Yeah, they're all the same. Although the one I've been using probably has lower condition, right? Is that 93.8 condition? So I, I suppose I can get rid of that for right now. Oh, whoops. How do I get rid of that? I don't want to... God, I'm probably have to do that in my inventory then, huh? Oh, and then I could repair it here, too. So I could repair it. Is that 93.8? I could repair. Repair this item, except... Uh, now it's at 100%. Okay, so that's good. All right, so pretty simple here. That's good to know. Now, we already have 100% on that one, so I guess we could actually just break down these extra pistols then, yeah. And then keep that little uh, thing right there. That's, that's kind of a cool little melee meme right there. I guess, yeah, because our uh, assault rifle is basically useless right now. We have no ammo for it. I guess we could uh, maybe put the sword on number two, shotgun on number three, and then this little telescoping thing <laughs> uh, on number four. So that'd be pretty cool. Let's keep looking around here, see if there's anything else to loot before we interact with whatever that was earlier. Uh, oh, gosh. Toss ball stick. What? Does that do damage? It does! It's 67 damage! That's like, uh... Can I see that? Oh, I thought I could see my guy actually holding it there for a second, but I guess not. Add it to junk. I don't even know what that means. Uh, break down. I don't know if I want to do that from there. But let's see if there's anything else in here. There's a ladder there I can go up. Let's see if there's anything here. Go up this bad boy. Climb that. Let's see. What's hiding up here? Maybe I should go talk to the, uh... What's all this? Let's go run over here. Please be advised that using the respecification machine will not make you a better person. Okay, so we could respec ourselves here, huh? Character respecification. Choosing to respec refunds all your spent skill and perk points, and then you can spend them in a different way. The price to respec will increase each time you use this machine. Yeah, let's not do that. Uh, yeah, cancel that. Oh gosh, would you like to spend 500 bits to refund all your skill? Yeah, that's not happening. Like, golly, I don't even know how much I have. Where do I check that? Up here? I think so. 39. I think I have 39, because that's the bit stuff we've been picking up lately, right? So I have like 39 bits, which is like nothing compared to that 500 we need for that. Sheesh. What's this? Marauder, please be informed that the engine room contains nothing of value. Oh, that's the time thing. How do we uh, get rid of my weapon? Uh, I don't know how to sheathe my weapon. I'll have to look into it. Okay, so it's hold reload. Okay. And then uh, I could hold attack to do a power attack. Interesting. All right. So let's get, uh, let's put the, the weapon up. There we go. All right, noise. And let's climb down from this, because it looks like we're done there. Let's continue exploring this spaceship. That's downed and illegally parking here. Ugh, there's a bed. Sleep bag. I can sleep. Hey, oh gosh. Okay, so I can sleep for eight hours randomly. <laughs> there, uh, there are people outside waiting on me, like, inside of here. And they're just like, oh man, he's in there literally sleeping. Sheesh. What's all this stuff? Captain's quarters. All are on security lockdown. Nice try, Marauder. Oh gosh darn. Guess I can't uh, go inside there. All doors are on security lockdown, so obviously Marauder, these will be. Please be informed, the ship has no crew for you to murder. There's a face reveal thing right there too, aka a camera, right? <laughs> what else is around here? I can't pick up any of this random trash. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I can't pick up this, these random pots and pans and stuff either. Oh, algae logger. I wonder what that's going to be giving us. What kind of other trash it's going to be doing to our health? Alright, let's get down. Let's go to that one room that we had to go to that's telling us to go to. Because I think that's the only place we haven't been yet. Yeah, there's upstairs and that's outside. Alright, let's go over here and see what this thing is. Access of spacefaring vessels is a crime. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. 
uh, make me. What are you going to do? Self-destruct? I'm not here to mis misappropriate anything. Uh, I don't appreciate being taught to you that way. Yeah. I'm like, I could lie. Because <laughs> I heckin' stole a bunch of stuff, didn't I? But, uh, yeah, let's do this one. I don't appreciate being taught that way there, Ada. I have been programmed to communicate with diplomacy and tact. Please allow me to demonstrate. Jettison procedures initiated. Disengage in airlocks. Prepare to eject all boarding parties in five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> you realize we're on the ground, right? Yeah. Is something supposed to be happening? You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. I need to get this ship in the air. Is this Hawthorne's ship? Yeah, let's see. This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. Yep. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Okay, Hawthorne was supposed to meet me where I landed, and he's like, yeah, he's dead. <laughs> Hawthorne is dead, I'm sorry. Your captain's a red smear under my escape pod. Yeah, he is. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Uh, I guess so. I'm, I'm Captain Hawthorne now. <laughs> I get it, you need me to be Captain Hawthorne or you can't fly. Okay, but I'm not Captain Hawthorne. Or I'm not Hawthorne, Hawthorne is dead. Uh, yeah, I get it. Yeah, I'm just going to be like, okay, yeah, I'm Captain Hawthorne. Even though I'm bragging. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Yep, we just got that uh, that that quest finished right there. It's like playing sad music while she's saying this. <laughs> uh, where am I supposed to go to find something like that? Engineering five. I doubt I'll find a part like that just sitting in a garage. Yeah, let's, I guess we could do that. Sure, why not? Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the unreliable. Do you understand? Yep. Yes, Ada, I get it. Thanks. Uh, captain Hawthorne of the unreliable. I like it. Knock it off with this Captain Hawthorne nonsense. <laughs> yeah, uh, let's do this one. I like it. That's my new name now. I'm not bragging anymore. <laughs> I'm literally not bragging. I'm Captain Hawthorne. Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. <laughs> this time? Hey, I leveled up. Level two. Noise. Now we have a skill. Yeah, just like anything else, we have a skill perk to apply, huh? You've been promoted. Level up. Congratulations. You've gained enough experience to go up a level. Open your character ledger to advance your character. Leveling up increases your health points, gives you points to upgrade your skills, as well as gives you access to a new perk every other level. Keep leveling, and you'll be upper management material in no time. Noise. All right, let's view the ledger. All right. Oh, it's telling me how to view ledger. Okay, now we have to continue, and then now we open up the ledger. Skill improvements. Yeah, we saw this earlier on. Pretty much everything will be tapped. Open up your inventory, so I just open this on my own. Every time you level up, you earn skill points to spend on improving your skills. Spending a skill point on a core skill, melee, improves all of the specialized skills in that group, up to a maximum of 50. After 50, you can add points directly to specialized skills, up to 100. Every skill improves as it grows, but special unlock bonuses occur every 20 points. Read each skill description to see what they are. Armor, consumables, and status effects can temporarily raise and lower your skills. This helps or hurts skill checks and the skill's passive bonuses, but won't give or take away the skill unlocks. Work diligently, improve yourself, and you too can achieve middle management. <laughs> All right, let's continue on that. So yeah, we, we have, oh gosh, we have 10 points to do here. Holy heck. All right, well, one-handed melee. Looks like, uh, yeah, this, this mining helmet that we're wearing is giving us a plus five to one-handed melee. So that's pretty cool. Maybe we want to use that a little bit more often with that buff on that. Two-handed melee. Now that would be, isn't that that telescoping thing? I suppose I could do it. I'm like, it's at nine right now. It's pretty heckin' low. Stealth is doing pretty well with a plus five on, uh, from the rebuilt mining gear that we're wearing with that weird, looks like I'm wearing like a clown costume or something. <laughs> like a weird, like, post-apocalyptic clown costume. I don't know. 
kind of giving me some Borderlands vibes with uh, with how I'm looking right now, but we have 10 points to apply here. What am I going to do it to? Maybe I'll do another melee, just because why not? There you go, another melee right there, sure. Ranged, I guess we could, because we do have guns now, so that's always good. So ranged and melee, both on that. We're doing pretty well on dialogue. Don't know if I need to do that, but our lie is at 19. So if I if I do it on dialogue, our lie is going to be 20, and now we'll have the 15% chance auto mechanicals will slowly attack other enemies instead of you for 10 seconds. So let's do dialogue as well. I'm like, we have 10 second things, so might as well start using it, right? Dodge, or uh, defense. Dodge and block will go up, which is pretty good. We could do it, eh... Leadership, I, I don't know if that really matters right now. We don't have any companions. Eh, we could do one on leadership. Just get that at 10 and the other at 13. Tech, I guess we do the same thing there. Just so we don't have any single digit stuff just kind of lying around looking like trash. <laughs> Let's do a, did I do a stealth yet? I don't know if I did or not, but it already has all those buffs, so that's good. We still have four points left over. I don't know if I did a defense. Let's do a defense there. Yeah, I don't think we did. I think we did uh, at least one point on everything because it's glowing, so that's good. Now we have three points left over. Guess we could do another on ranged, just because, just hey, why not? So handguns is almost at 20. If I do two more there, I'm going to unlock TTD location hit effects. I'm like, yeah, let's do it. Let's do ranged. There you go. Two more on range. Now we have, oh yeah, we have a, we just did scale. Now we have one perk here. Oh yeah, accept, accept that. Auntie Cleo specialized management seminars, selecting perks. Welcome to the perk selection. On this screen, you can choose which perks to buy with your perk points. You get a new perk point to spend every two levels. You can also acquire perk points through gameplay, such as accepting a flaw. Acquiring five new perks makes the next tier of perks available to you. Auntie wants you to be your best to help her be the very best. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Now, what are these perks that we're working with here? So we have a tier 1, tier 2, tier 3. We have one perk point to apply. Oh gosh! We can do toughness, and that'll give us a uh, plus 50% to base health. Uh, don't we already have something that gives us a little bit better base health? And of course, our armor's doing pretty well too. 20% uh, better vendor prices on that one. Tactical time dilation, meter max. Ooh. Deadly demonstrations. Oh, jeez. Plus 50% XP from companion. Yeah, that's probably going to be pointless right now. We don't have any companion. Maybe we're about to get a companion, I guess. Maybe we will. Ooh, lone wolf. So that's going to be the exact opposite, I assume, huh? Yeah, plus 25 damage when alone in a party. That might be pretty good right now. Traveler. Unlock the ability to fast travel when encumbered. Okay. So that'd be pretty good from all my looting habits. <laughs> might not want to spend it right now. I don't, I don't know how we're... Yeah, we're at 26 pounds out of 100. So yeah, we're, we're quite a ways from being over encumbered. So, let's see, Strider, plus 25% walk speed, quicken the dead. Your tactical time dilation meter recharges much faster, plus 50%, ooh, 50% faster there, that's not that bad. Cheetah, they're not slow, you're just fast, plus 20% sprint speed, so we have a better walk speed and a better sprint speed right there, although, I don't know if I'm going to be working with those right now. Pack Mule plus 50 kilograms, golly, that's, that's like half of our carry weight just added on top of what we could do right now, sheesh. I don't know if I'll be doing that, because, yeah, we're, we're still at uh, 26 out of 100. I don't think we're going to need that just yet. Maybe we're going to get another uh, two levels by the time we we'll actually need that. We can apply that later. High maintenance. 25% better weapon armor durability loss. Maybe better later. Early on, eh, it seems like we're picking up a lot of trash. I just scrapped a bunch of stuff and eh, just repaired my gun, so I don't think we're going to need that right now. A few bits more. Plus 100% additional ammo stock on vendors and consumable and general stock on vendors. Eh, maybe we're going to come in contact with vendors once we get to that town. What was it called? I, f I forgot the name of it. <laughs> what about this one? Precision. Plus 15% companion crit chance. Eh, I don't know. And resilient. Plus 5 base armor rating. Okay, so base armor, uh, base health. What was the one that I... Lone Wolf. Maybe I'll do this one. Plus 25% damage when alone in a party. That seems like a decent one for right now. So let's do that one. Anyways, that's going to be our perks and uh, skills applied right there. Yeah, let's accept that. We have a new thing in the journal. Oh gosh, what was that thing I just saw right there? Oh yeah, that's all of our stuff. Yeah, we're level 2. Current XP and XP needed the level. So we're at 608 out of 6,000 to hit the next level. Current and max health, we're at 550 out of 550. Health regeneration is 2.2 HP per second. Head armor ratings, 4. Body armor ratings, 4. Sprint speed, 7.2 meters per second. Crouch speed, 2, 2 meters per second. TTD duration is 2 minutes. And merchant skills, 22. Reputation. Too early to tell whether this employee is competent or not. <laughs> yeah, okay, we're at neutral on that, so our reputation is neutral right now. Maybe it'll change a little bit later, though. Let's go back to the journal, and I think we've got to find like the power, yeah, the power regulator thing that uh, Ada talked about earlier. Yeah, so we could actually make that ship work. Uh, find the unreliable's power regulator. The Unreliable's power regulator has been damaged beyond repair and must be replaced. Ada suggested you seek help in a nearby settlement of Edgewater. That's the name of the place. Talk to whoever runs the town. All right, let's go back there now. Oh, Codex, what's this? For all the uh, random trash that we come across, it'll give us a little bit of detail. Oh, these are like 
L yeah, literally basics right there. <laughs> uh, fast travel. Yeah, oh yeah. This is like tutorials to consumables. Oh, I thought it'd actually show me the consumables there, but I guess not. Yeah, super duper uh, tutorial-y stuff there. So yeah, now we're about to get out of the ship. Go to that town. Uh, hold that to open. There we go. All right, I guess that's just so I don't accidentally go outside if I don't want to. Now it's nighttime. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. I'm afraid we gotta dock your pay. Oh uh, no, if it was my ship, I would have parked it uh, in a more proper position, not just randomly out in the field, right? I don't have a... D I'm like, I'm a, I'm a, a scientist assistant or something like that, right? Lie, you've got it all wrong. I'm a st starship safety inspector. Attack? Do you take payments in wanton violence? No, that's a lie. I'm pretty sure we can get away with this one. You've got it all wrong. I'm a starship safety inspector. Oh, by the law. I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. <laughs> okay, I'm like, this is a crime scene. Ugh, illegal parking. Alright, take care. Anyways, east. Now, which way is, uh, oh gosh, yeah, you can see the, uh, the stuff at the top of the screen, so east would be this way. And yeah, there is a heckin' marker right there. Town leader. Alright, well, hey, how's it, how are you doing? Marauders, deserters, illegal landing. What is this colony coming to? I know, illegal landing is like the most important thing you just said right there. Sheesh, disgusting. All right, now we've got melee here. There's like a part over there. Now, what is this? Oh, yeah, it's a solid off shotgun. This is that weird, yeah, that staff thing. This is two-handed, yep. So that's pretty cool. So we can use that to block. If we're, if we're actually in melee combat, of course, it's going to be pointless if we're getting shot at, right? But uh, I guess we can just head this way. Let's see. What's that up there? I kind of want to just use this opportunity to explore a little bit, you know? Maybe we'd hide in that. I don't think we'd hide in this stuff. It's a little bit too, like, not, like, thick enough, I guess you could say. What's this? Is that, a guy? that is a guy. Is that a marauder? It is. Ooh, let's see if we can sneak up on him. Ooh, maybe we do a little bit of bonus damage to him. Got oh, what is that thing? Some sort of creature? Or is that just a pile of rubbish? So we can sneak up on this fella and do a sneak kill. Like we did to that other guy. <gasps> There's another one back there, though. If we, if we sneak kill this guy, that guy's going to see for sure. And if that happens, we might want to switch immediately to our gun and start shooting that guy. Let's see. Oh, God, what? I still have a... Sc Wait, what? Wait. I thought I applied this stuff. Why is it saying I didn't... Uh... I have no idea. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to do this stuff again. <laughs> Bro, getting calm was like, oh my gosh, you you backed out of the heckin' menu rather than apply... Oh yeah, there's a whole... I have to hit, I have to hit E to apply. I must hit back. Uh, escape to get out of this. Sheesh. So we did, I think we did at least one to everything, and then we did uh, range to got that up to 20, right? Yeah. So let's apply, accept, and you've unlocked a dialogue combat skill when attacking the correct type of target. They are automatically deliberated. Yeah, the uh, autonomous, or the robots, or whatever they talked about, right? And let's go back to perks. What was that? Uh, the lone wolf. Yeah, let's do that one. So let's apply that time. Yeah. Sheesh. I don't know why I didn't notice that earlier, but thankfully I noticed it now, right? All right, let's back out of that now. Oh, the other guy's facing the other direction, though. So let's see. Let's get a sneak kill on this guy. Did I kill him? Nope. There we go. Now they're down. Now we completely alerted the other guy. Ooh. Oh, that is it. Oh, gosh. Yep, we're getting shot at. Okay, let's try, try and get this guy. Ooh, let's reload. I think we've got at least one headshot right there, so that's good. Oh my gosh. One more down, and there we go. Any more? I don't think so. Let's get out of your trash. Let's see. Bit cartridge, we got three more. Noise. And ten heavy ammo, so we could use the assault rifle now. Or, uh, whatever that was. I don't know what it was. It was a light assault rifle, wasn't it? Twelve bits in there, noise. And, uh, like I assumed earlier, I think that's, like, the currency, right? So that's good to know. That's going to be our, uh, bottle caps or our gold. If you guys are, uh, oh, 20 heavy ammo, heavy ammo on this guy. Ollie, Ollie talks the free. What in the world? Harmful status effect duration, negative 50% in last 15 seconds. Okay, not too bad there. Makeshift low pressure suit. Whoa! Nine armor on that one. That's pretty good. Noise. Let's go back to inventory, though. Let's go back to armor. See how we're doing armor wise. We have a uh, four armor on that, and this would be nine, so that's pretty good. Now, what, is it, what else does this give? Uh, plus five to tech skills. Well, this one's uh, plus five to stealth skills. Ooh, but this one has way better armor, so I might want to do this, you guys. Holy heck. Eh, let's do it. What's the condition on this one? 94%. So it went down a little bit. And 96 on the uh, original hibernation suit there, so that's interesting. All right, well, basically, uh, oh, I thought that was uh, sneaking right there, but I guess it wasn't. So that's good. What's down here, though? It's like a weird bridge. 
I kind of want to see what's over here before we actually head into town, because we're almost there already. I might be still- oh, 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 there's a fella. There's a fella right there. Didn't even notice him. I think there's another one right here behind this rock. Did they notice me, though? Oh, almost. They're starting to notice me, at least. Oh, this guy's, like, behind the rock, though, so- oh, that- oh! They're, they were waiting to ambush me, but I'm going to ambush them, Hada. Look at this. Look at this sneak attack, sneak kill. Boom, got him. Uh-oh, they smell blood. They attack me. Ooh. Coming around, coming around. Oh gosh, they see. They get you. Get you, Hada. Knock down and get out of here. There you go. That one's trying to melee. There you go. Now you're down, Hada, just like your friend. Oh, what in the world was that? They just, like, popped up right there. Sentry saber, I can, uh... Oh gosh, oh yeah, it's just the same stuff we've seen earlier, nothing new there. That's pretty good, we're getting even more- oh, can I loot this guy? This guy have nothing on him. That's pretty funny, they're, they're waiting to ambush me, but I ambush them from behind, that's awesome. Tables have turned, Hater. 